I wrote this journal entry on September 20th, 2023 at 3.03 p.m. September I once saw as the beginning of fall, but I see it now more as the end of summer. I've seen more butterflies this September than I've seen throughout the all of summer. The shortness of their lifespan reminding me that beauty is not reliant on permanence, and in fact may even exist only in its opposite. There is an innocence I've lost in the past couple of years. There is a much more fundamental innocence I lost a long time ago, but the innocence I speak of now is the kind which is lost through the natural choices one makes that leads to perhaps the necessary experiences one must have to grow up and mature. But the more I understand about maturity, the more I believe full maturity requires returning to the innocence of our younger selves without the naivety originally attached to it. Innocence initially sounds something like having never harmed or been harmed, having never experienced or seen, and I suppose that is a part of it. But innocence can also function as a form of behavior, as a conscious and brave action if you want it to be. There is an innocence in choosing to be vulnerable. There is an innocence in choosing to be kind. But these same decisions we make under the circumstances of naivety transform from being naive to being brave when under the later circumstances of having lost that naivety. There is no bravery in being kind to someone if you assume they will be kind back. There is no bravery in being vulnerable if you assume that vulnerability cannot be used against you. If you know the risk you're taking, if you're fully aware of the cruelty people are capable of, if you understand that your kindness might be taken for granted, that your vulnerability might be used to harm you, and you choose anyway to believe in the good, to believe in your strength to overcome that potential future adversity, believe that the goodness of the world will in the end conquer the evilness of the world, that's when innocence becomes bravery. That's not to say that there aren't times in which being vulnerable is simply stupid. To choose to be vulnerable with those you know wish you ill is unwise. I suppose that might be why bravery and stupidity can often look surprisingly similar. But that isn't a statement that evil wins over good overall in the world or in the universe or in existence. Only that... Sorry, I lost my place. Only that the specific person you're dealing with has let it win in their own individual heart. And it could even be only in specific areas, though it definitely could be more. There are three broad stages to maturity I'm learning. Thinking everyone is good, learning many people are evil, and believing bravely nonetheless that the goodness you once believed in is stronger than the evil you came to discover, though both are very real. Everyone I meet is living in one of these stages and often moving, and often moving between the three throughout their lives, including me. So, I wrote this journal entry not really actually knowing the reason until after I finished it, which is that I've been thinking about relationships recently and more so about the idea of me being in one and how weird it seems, like how just weird and odd and unfamiliar it seems now, um, even though I've, I've been in two very serious ones. But I realized that after writing this, and I've known it, but I really realized it lately, how extremely guarded I am. And I've, I think that part of me writing this is me trying to teach myself again the bravery that comes with being vulnerable. Knowing that not everyone is going to treat you well, but that's not what it means to be brave. That's not what it means to be alive. And believing nonetheless that I ought to be vulnerable. Otherwise, what's the point if I'm just going to stay hardened? Um, I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. So I, I think that I'm trying to learn the value in putting my heart out there trying to learn it <laughs> trying to learn it anyway that's all i have to say though um oh also happy fall i don't know if it'll be the first day of fall by the time this posts but 